20th Century Fox, you're killing me, you're killing me. 20th Century Fox came out with another trailer over the weekend. Independence Day Resurgence debuted on Sunday. This movie takes place 20 years after the first invasion. Earth is being invaded again, but this time, this time, Earth is ready for them. We're ready, man. We're ready. We're ready. We're ready. What? This time, Earth has hybrid technology developed from the alien technology from the alien invasion before. And now the real question is, are we truly ready? So enough about the plot. Let's get to why you are not going to watch this movie. You probably saw this trailer, saw this one black dude, didn't see any Will Smith, and figured that Will Smith has been recast. That is a safe assumption, but it is wrong. Will Smith was not recast. The black guy that you see is actually Dylan Hiller, Will Smith's on-screen stepson. Yes, he has been recast. When it was asked, basically Fox said Lil Nicky didn't look like Will Smith. It makes me wonder whether or not Lil Nicky would have been in this movie if Will Smith had actually returned. But what did they do to Will Smith? They killed him, y'all. They killed him. He is dead. D-E-A-D, -D, dead. He died in a training accident. They freaking took a page from Iron Man and said that he died in a freaking training accident. Fox, you want me to believe that the first human, the first human to actually fly an alien spacecraft actually died in a training accident testing out their hybrid technology. Are you serious? But hey, if you think that's BS, let's look at the real story. The real story is that he was too expensive and he was too big of a marquee name. What are you talking about that he's too big of a marquee name? He is the reason why people will want to come back for Independence Day 2. Will Smith made that last movie and you're telling me that he is too expensive? That he's too big of a marquee name for this movie? Are you serious? Are you serious? BS! Let me call you out on it. That is freaking BS. It would have been better if you just did not do this at all. I understand that you had two scripts, one for if he said yes and one if he said no, but basically if he said no, just, just scratch it. Just say no. I, I don't know how much money that you spent on the script writers to actually write this. You were hoping that the movie was actually going to give you that money back so you could actually pay or get some type of profit from what you gave the script writers, but this is one of those movies that is best left not done at all. But hey, let's get on to why you would actually want to see this movie. This movie takes place 20 years after the first movie. So expect Iron Man, Avatar type of technology to be shown in this universe. Expect better graphics. If the website is any testament to how smexy the graphics are, I'm guessing that the movie is just as good. Reason number two that you would want to go and see this movie, though Will Smith is gone, plenty of the cast has come back. You have David Goldblum that has come back to repraise his character. He's still the smart Alex scientist. He's the one that people come to when they notice some alien activity on Earth. You have Jude Hirsch coming back as his father. You have Vivica A. Fox coming back. But now, now she is no longer a stripper. She is a hospital administrator and the head of her hospital. You go, girl. Bill Pullman comes back, but he doesn't look like he's president anymore. Nah, uh, uh, uh. We have a new president, and she's a female. Girl power. Her. I don't know if you also caught this, but Bill Pullman's character, he looks like he's been tortured throughout the years. I mean, he has a scraggly beard, and he looks really tired and beaten. And 
it's insinuated that he has some kind of psychic connection with the aliens. We also see this young woman who is hugged up with Liam Hemsworth, who we can assume is his daughter. However, in looking at the credits, Alicia is not in the credits. The character Alicia is not in the credits and that was his daughter's name. This chick is a completely different chick which makes me think that he might have pushed his daughter away somehow some way throughout the 20 years. Something happened to her and I haven't done enough research to figure out what has actually happened to Alicia. But tell me what you think. Comment below. Are you going to see the new Independence Day film? I don't know about you, but I followed Jeff Goldblum throughout all of the Jurassic Park films. I'm going to follow him now. I am a Jeff Goldblumer. Anyway, that's all for now. I'll catch you later. Bye.